Good morning, Old Rich High School seniors in Cosmetology 3. Today we are going to be talking about color theory. Now, I would like to start off with this color wheel here to get a base and a foundation on our knowledge. So, we all know that our primary colors are red, yellow, and blue. Now, primary colors as well make up secondary colors. So if I mix blue and yellow, I get green. And if I mix red and yellow, I get orange. And red and blue make violet. Now, if I go directly across from those secondary colors, it'll match up with the primary color. Now, yellow can be canceled out with violet tones since they are right across from each other. Red cancels out green and blue will cancel out orange. Now, you have your tertiary colors, which as well will be very useful in the aiding of color corrections and or just color theory in general. So, your red orange, you would need blue green pigments to cancel that out. For a red violet, you would need yellow green pigments for yellow orange, you would need some blue violet, and so on and so forth. Now, I would like to switch over to our live demo today. Today I'm going to be using paint to try and further explain and maybe give a little more insight on color theory. So, all color, as we know, is made up of white. The primary colors that white creates are yellow, blue and red. Purple cancels out yellow, blue and orange cancel each other out, and red and green. Now, if this theory states correct, if I take red paint, and now I took green paint, and I mix them together, it would create almost a neutral brown and all that is left is brown now let's say we do that with the blue and the orange You see how it almost turns out as a green kind of color? There's too much blue pigment. So now we still have to continue to neutralize. We take a little more orange and we add it to our mixture. And still a little more. And as you put more neutral tones in it, it slowly and slowly becomes more and more of a brown color. Now, let's move on to yellow and purple. So we have this yellow color, which is usually the base of most foundations. We mix them together to cancel out those tones. And as you see within this mixture, if I continue to continuously mix, it would start to come out as a neutral brown. Of course, I would need more pigment in here because I can still see the purple very well. However, with the proper pigments, you will cancel what you need out. Now let's talk about the level system. So, the level system of hair goes from one to 10, one being the darkest and 10 being the lightest. Now, if we started to strip the color out of the hair, 
this would be the foundations we are left with. You have your yellow, red, and orange when, as you get to like a level six. As you get to a level seven, you have still some red pigment, but more orangey. It's gonna be like an orangey red. As we get to an eight, you're still gonna have some orange pigment in there. However, it's gonna be more of a yellow. You get to a nine. We're gonna have that almost banana yellow color. And then a 10 should be perfectly banana. So now, if I mix all of these together, you see the supporting orange coming through. All right. And mix this one together. And in this one, the orange keeps getting lighter and lighter. And now, okay ladies, so now that we have a foundation on our red oranges and our orange reds, we're going to continue. And yes, there is a difference. Red orange consists of more red than orange and orange red consists of more orange than red. We're going to continuously move up to that orange yellow pigment. After the orange yellow pigment is stripped, you are now left with a yellow, yellow pigment. And as you keep getting lighter and lighter, you will be left with an almost inside of the banana peel yellow. That is the best way to describe it. This is the outside of the banana and this is the inside. The outside of the banana is great. It is a great foundation and building block for most blondes. But this perfect inside of the banana peel yellow is our desired goal. The best way I can explain color theory to all of you is through paints. Why so? Nowadays, we are fortunate enough to have most of our color mixed for us previously. And all we have to do is add some pigment to create our desired goal. We have our violet blues, we have our NAs, we have our GIs and our GGs and our VBs and so on and so forth. But to understand the root of color theory and the underlying pigments throughout your hair and as you lift with lightener, what will be shown to you will help you become a better colorist. Now that we have talked about our level system and the underlying pigments within your hair, I would like to go back to our beginning of the video lesson and talk about color canceling and color correction. I would like to use our blue and our orange as a perfect explanation. So, blue and orange cancel each other out. Yes. However, not every blue is going to be a true blue. Not every orange is going to be a true orange. So, this blue has a little more yellow in it, and so does this orange. And how do we know that? When we mix the blue and the orange, we get almost a muddy green color. Now, when we canceled out the green and the red, we got our brown. So, since this turned out to be a green color, we now have to add red within our mixture to get that desired brown look. And as we continuously mix and we mix out that green, you will see that what we are left with is a true brown. Color corrections are a little complicated, however, if you think about them like paint, this simple. We had a yellow, orange, and a blue that had a little bit more yellow pigment since it is lighter. All colors come from these and all of these colors are found within these. Blue, red has blue in it to keep it nice and deep. Yellow has red in it to keep it bright. Do we see those colors? No. However, if all colors come from white, then all colors contain each other within them as well. We had our green, which we can still see on the side. But as you go deeper into the center and you see where that red came from, you see that we are left with brown. 
it neutralized all of that pigment out. Now, when we talk about yellows and purples, they are very different. Yellows are our blondes, let's say, and our violets are used for primarily blonde corrections. Uh, right. So blonde corrections does not necessarily mean canceling out yellow. You still would like some yellow, some gold, some red, if we take it deeper into what yellow actually is, in your blonde. However, this violet will help neutralize these extreme yellow pigments. So let's go back to our previous lesson about the level system. And let's per se take some yellow orange out. If I take a dash on just the tiniest bit of this purple and I mix it with the, it'll start to cancel out those orangey tones and we will be left with more of a yellow. You see as I continuously mix. Now yes, this looks from a certain angle like mud However, if you continuously mix, you will be able to see that what actually is created is a more neutral yellow color. That orange has been canceled out and we are left with more of a yellow. It all depends on how you mix. You must continuously mix with color, with paint, with whatever. And by paints, ladies, I don't necessarily mean acrylic paints as though we are using right now. Paints could be vivids. It can be your Pulp Riot shades. It can even be any straight pigment color. Anything that does not have an underlying tone can be considered paint. If you think about it in a grander perception, we are artists and we create art and art contains colors and those colors come from paint so our color that we use is basically a hairdresser's paint we had an orange and now we have a more yellow color do not be afraid to continue to add if that is not your desired goal just do it slowly and in stages so for an example Let's say I had my orange again. We know that blue as well cancels out orange. So we took a little bit of blue and we mixed it in just to see what it created. Uh-oh. However, what we failed to realize was maybe these tones contained a little bit too much of one color. So we can create almost a violet red. And as we mix it in, all of those tones were canceled out. And we were left with a neutral color of violet red. And if we continuously look, that violet red is almost a little bit brown. Color theory, ladies, is all about what the artist sees and what the artist realizes is needed to create a harmony in the hair. 